Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, and here today, I will be going to the Little People Village in Waterbury, Connecticut. So, with my research on this place, it's very hard to find, um, like really anything about it, and there is various stories surrounding it, but this is the one I have decided to go with. So, a while back, an elderly couple lived in the woods and the husband had built the house and one night he heard a voice from outside and he didn't know what it was but then he caught a glimpse of what he suspected it was it was a little person so he decided he wanted to start a friendship with these guys and he built them little houses and it was like a little village for the little people to live but then the little people started telling him to do stuff build more houses build more houses and little did he know that these were actually little demons so one day these little demons told him to build a quote-unquote throne for the king of the little people slash demons so he did and he was really proud of it so he went to get his wife to show her his fine craftsmanship and when he had brought her there he had decided to kill her right on the throne now the little people told him to do this so shortly after he realized what he had actually done and that the little people no longer needed him so he rushed back to his house put bars on his window and just hid away he then heard chattering voices outside from the little people telling him to end his life end his life end his life he unfortunately did end up taking his life he supposedly hung himself in the basement and up here you can see one of the bars that was on the window now there's also another variation of the story that the wife was supposedly a witch i'm not sure how true that is i'm not even sure how true this is but it made the most sense to me since i went here and i like saw everything and it did kind of make sense so that's the story I went with. Alrighty guys, so we are walking up to it right now. It was a bit of a walk into the woods and then the trail just kind of ended. And there's not really like a pinpoint location of this. So we were just kind of wandering into the woods, which is not always a good idea. But we saw the structure in the distance and online said like past power lines. Um like and that it was not on old waterbury road it was in fact like right by the street sign um but yeah as you can see here that the bar is on the window and the house is just completely deteriorating so we just kept on walking through um we actually read online like how to get there with like directions like i6 or 83 north of this restaurant called maggie mcfly's now i have no idea where that is so we went to the restaurant and um i asked them for directions and they had no idea what i was talking about i probably sounded a little crazy crazy asking where the uh little people village was but um yeah so this is just kind of the outside of the house and um, that's my friend Kylie, and I put text on the screen, but there was a hole in the ground that was stairs leading down. Now, here's the inside of the house. It's like so broken down, graffitied. I don't even know what I was looking at. It was just so overgrown. I also took a picture and a video of these two weird looking things. I'm not sure what they were, but if you guys do, please let me know down below. So we kept on walking, and in the distance, we saw a little um house from the village and we found these steps so we just walked up them and then we saw the first house in the little people village now this one was nice looking it was definitely like deteriorating but it was kind of cute and it was actually really nicely detailed um there's a doorway right there or what i assume is a doorway 
There also seems like human sized steps leading up to the top of the house for some reason. This is what I assume to be the back with the little patio and like the window, the door. Um, these are just made out of like bricks and cinder blocks, I'm sure. But uh, it was still pretty cool to see. We continued down until we started seeing rubble again. And there was this like asphalt right here that like was crumbling down that hill. So I held onto a tree, made sure that no asphalt crumbled. Um, so yeah. There was a little butterfly there that scared me because I thought it was a real one. Um, we kept looking around and there was a way down. Um, I'm just kind of taking videos of random structures I see. But we got down. Um, it was a bit of a high step and it started to rain so it was slippery. Then we started seeing more like rock wall structures. And we weren't really sure what they were. But then over here we saw like this oven looking thing. And there was a roof inside of the rocks. So I have no idea what this once was. But it was just kind of cool like discovering this as we went. And then I unknowingly took a video of the throne in the distance. Now I know I didn't say this before but there's a myth that says if you sit in this throne you will die within the next seven years so basically what we did we were like trying to figure out what it was and it had looked like a door to us because i mean it kind of does if you look at it and then we saw this like hanging thing from the side that kind of seemed like it could be a handle so my friend kylie was about to go pull it and she got scared because she didn't want to find something bad inside so she told me to and i was about to pull it and then i look on the other side and i realize it is not a door handle it is an old bent nail and i just stood there and froze and i couldn't believe that i was about to get up on the throne and i was just like whoa because it does look like a door but i assure you it is not so we continue down and we see really pretty artwork of what we think the little people village once looked like and then we found this random set of stairs and we assumed that it was just like part of some old structure that was so overgrown so we then decided to head back so this is just a recording of us heading back and seeing all the little things also you have to be super careful where you walk because there is crumbling structures and random holes in the ground like this one right here so if you end up going here just be super careful please here's supposedly the elderly couple's home one more time from a different angle there's the inside so yeah i definitely recommend going to this place with some friends or even if you just want to check it out because it looks cool to me this tree looked like fake for some reason i don't know why it just didn't look real Alrighty, thank you everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed me visiting the little people village in waterbury connecticut these are just some pictures i took there's my friend kylie in the corner i will see you guys in the next video goodbye